Hey guys, it's Lacey. So I just wanted to make a quick video and show you guys how we make our homemade squishies two ways because I do get the question asked a lot still how we make our squishies even though when we do make the videos we do explain it. So instead of answering each person since I do get a lot, like I said, I'm going to just make this quick video and explain to you guys the two ways that we make our homemade squishies. So the first way is we bought this memory foam side sleeper pillow at Walmart. I'm not exactly sure how much it was, I forget, I think around like $40 to $50. So we bought this and we made quite a few squishies out of this and you can see we still have a big chunk left. And this is a very slow rising um, piece of memory foam. So this is definitely worth it if you guys like to or if you're good at cutting out shapes. I am not very good at cutting out shapes to things as you guys see in my videos. I do try and they don't turn out horribly but I have seen people make them better so if you're like creative or you're good at making squishies I would suggest this instead of buying a huge piece of mattress memory foam because it's very expensive you have to buy the whole mattress. I would suggest this pillow from Walmart and we do use the puffy paint as well to paint the squishies and this is from Walmart and I think what was it I just bought this one last night I think it's $14.97 for this big pack there's also smaller packs and there are these ones you can buy we're actually going to be making the I bloom gold bar we had a suggestion to do that so that's why I bought this this one's the gold metallic and they also sell these little bottles separate as well so just depending on what you want we bought this one we have the neon ones but I actually like this 20 pack extreme value with the four free paints inside this is what I think you get most for your money so that's the way that we make our first type of squishy is with the memory foam and puffy paint and the second way that we make squishies this is how we made um, the video on last night where we decorated our own squishies and we made a video on how we actually made them the girls made it with their dad is we go to eBay I'm just gonna show you guys on my computer right here we go to eBay.com and then type in flex foam it Three. This is very important. We bought Flex Foam It number 17 and did a video on it and it was a complete fail. So we remade a video on making squishies with Flex Foam It number 3 and they turned out very good. So this is it right here. It's $55.93 Smooth On Flex Foam 3 and it comes with three bottles right here. So this is what we use to make squishies the correct way like I said make sure you buy flex foam at three because it is pretty expensive I had to buy this twice because I did not buy the right stuff the first time so this is the box right here the correct box that we just recently made them with so we use the flex foam at three follow the instructions right here we mix it together and then we pour it into silicone molds you guys want to get silicone it's so much easier to peel, to peel out other than rather than glass or plastic I would highly suggest silicone molds I also went back to Walmart last night because we are going to be making Valentine's Day squishies for you guys um, we're going to be doing that very soon within the next few days but we have a bunch of silicone molds but for the Valentine's Day squishies we're going to be using this one we're going to be using these silicone molds right here which are a whole bunch of hearts these ones were $1.97 I believe at Walmart and I also bought this 3D puffy paint last night Nina's crying guys I will be right back so like I was saying I had just bought these silicone molds at Walmart to put the mixture in of the flex foam you would pour it in whatever silicone mold you want whether it be that one this one I bought at a fabric store I believe and these ones are a bit more expensive I think they were like $15 each for each of these big molds 
And these ones, like I said, were only $1.97 in the Valentine's Day aisle at Walmart. So you would do the mixture like it says to do, mix it up um, real quick, and then you pour it into the silicone mold. You let it sit and rise for about 25 minutes, and then you can peel them out of the molds and then they will be ready to be painted with the puffy paint. If you use acrylic paint like we did our very first times making our own homemade squishies, they cracked and they looked terrible and they ended up like hard. So do not use any other paint on these squishies other than puffy paint or fabric paint. So this is the paint that you wanna go with and like I said, you can find this at Walmart or any other craft store that you guys would like to go like whatever you have I know we have Joanne Fabrics we have Michaels and a few other ones out here um, and like I said memory foam Walmart we looked everywhere every craft store looked online could not find the right memory foam anywhere so pretty much Walmart is the way to go with all of this except for the flex foam the only place I could find this was on eBay and it is $55.95 like I showed you. So, there's that. But yeah, this is pretty much how we make our homemade squishies. If I didn't cover something that you guys would like to know, you can ask down in the comments below. But this is pretty much what it is. It's pretty easy. The hardest, well not the hardest, the longest part about making these squishies is letting the paint dry. Sometimes you have to wait overnight. Sometimes you have to wait a whole entire day depending on how many layers of paint you put on. The more layers of paint that you do put on, the more slow rising the squishy is. So if you put a lot on or if you like do an outline, a very thick outline of paint, that usually takes a whole day to dry. It just all depends. So it's pretty easy for the most part. It's just the longest part is waiting to squish the squishy. You have to wait until it's completely dry when the paint's dry. So that is pretty much how we do it. Pretty simple. You guys should really try it. It's really fun. But like I said, the flex foam and memory foam can be pretty pricey. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on our next video. Bye! So I just remembered that I had this in the flex foam box over here. This is where the flex foam came from. So other than just going to eBay, you can also go to www.spfxmakeup.com and I guess it's Delia's Makeup and Theatrical Supplies and it has all of this stuff right here and this right here is the flex foam. And then this is like their address and their phone number. They sent this to me. And then on the back right here, which is very nice in case we wanna buy more, and you guys can also use this coupon code as well, you can get 10% off of this website right here, which is where the Flex Foam came from. And if you type in Artist 10, you will get 10% off of the $55.93, which is the cost of the Flex Foam. So, I thought that before I uploaded this video, <laughs> Nina's over there talking, that I would share this with you guys since like I said it is pretty pricey so anything that you can get off is nice. So if we do order this again we will be using this coupon code getting a few dollars off. So that's really nice. I thought that you guys would like to know. So now I'm going to end this video. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.